Hi guys, welcome to my channel City Girl Nature. Sorry that it's been a bit of a wait. It was hectic coming back from Jamaica and settling back into the UK and my priorities getting them straight. So today what we're going to be doing is actually going through my bag and seeing some of the things of which I have recently bought and some of which I've had already. So we're just going to have a look at the top here of my bag and some of the things that are in this part is my first item here is a compass. So the compass is really useful when you're going on walks and stuff and it's something of which I've been practicing actually which is trying to get my bearing um, so I kind of know where to walk for instance pacing as well because that's also a part of trekking and and walking around and when you're out in nature it's quite good especially when you get lost and stuff you can then find your way to different parts um, on a map by using your compass uh, the compass is really useful as well as with the sun it rises on the east and sets in the west so therefore you're able to then use your compass to navigate using the sun as well working hand in hand all part of nature working together next item is a knife this is a girl's best friend or a boy's best friend out um, when camping this knife is a marker niv knife and um, you can use this for multiple things uh, cutting things obviously so you could use it for for instance when you're out and you might need to create a fire for instance you can use it to like shave uh, the bark of branches you can use it to slice uh, food that you might be making um, as well as you can also use it for hammer and stuff and trying to like say for instance you have something you're putting in the ground even when you're putting up your tent for instance knocking the peg in you can use that also the knife is quite useful in doing so and yeah I also have another knife this is actually my first knife my other knife that was actually given to me by a friend which was a lovely gift in fact and this is actually my first knife that I brought to the Amazon in fact and this is called the aqua shot it's a it's used for two different things so it's a pocket knife but it also is a knife sharp knot at the top here and actually it's a glass breaker as well so you can break glass with it if you're needing to do so it also has kind of like a hook on the side here so you can actually put it on your clothes and yeah it's kind of like a swiss knife so closes and opens like so but yeah that's my other knife i also have a knife sharpener so this is used for sharpening knives um, two different sides to it so the coarse side is used for sharpening whereas the fine side is used to smoothen it out so it's not as rigid and yep this is a really good tool to have in your bag also as i said your knife is your best friend so this works in hand with that another thing i have here is a hand torch this is really useful of course in the dark you always need a torch or sometimes you just need a torch to look inside of your bag and this is really useful in doing so i have another torch in fact and this torch is a head torch so sometimes your hands need to be at use and putting the torch on your head actually enables you to have your hands free um, this is really useful as well it's adjustable and can fit any head size another very important tool is your flint and steel this is really useful in when you're making a fire 
you use this tool and you scrape it in order to spark a fire up. As I mentioned earlier with the knife, when you're actually starting a fire or making a fire, you actually use bark and stuff and when you use the flint and steel you spark it onto the bark which allows it to cause the fire to start up but this is a classic um, tool to use when starting a fire so yeah flint and steel another really useful tool is this piece here which is the multi-purpose survival tool and with this you can use as a um, a saw you can use as a bottle opener and you can also use as a knife there's a, quite a sharp edge here at the top to cut stuff with or even shave things with it's really useful this tool here and it's small as well so it's quite portable so this tool comes in handy a lot also um a few other bits i actually have in my bag is uh anti-back so this is really useful when cleaning your hands not sometimes there's not water around or place to wash your hands so it's quite useful to have some antibacterial to actually keep your hands clean um, especially with dealing with food or wounds or stuff like that antibax is really good to have in your bag also as well as i have some pseudo cream so pseudo, pseudo cream is actually used for it's an antiseptic cream and it's quite good with healing so if there is a wound or cut or burn or sore or any type of thing like that this actually helps to soothe it and it's quite useful i also have some rope this rope is quite useful with <laughs> this rope is quite useful um, when it comes to when you're camping or you're setting up a place of which you m might be staying for instance, you might use the rope to tie things up or sometimes even if you're doing something else in the outdoors, a rope is really quite useful in assisting with those type of things. For instance, like abseiling or multiple things in the outdoors, rope is quite useful in doing so. What I also have is some bungee cords these are really useful in when you might want to create a line for instance to hang stuff uh, say you're camping somewhere you might want to make a line to hang up your clothes or you might want to attach stuff to your bag or for instance attach stuff um, onto your tent it's really useful in doing that and they're quite stretchy as you can see so this is quite a useful tool as well to have in your bag These are dry bags. So what they're used to do, what they are useful for is actually putting stuff that you don't want to get wet in your bag inside of these. And they keep your things quite safe because obviously they're waterproof as well as they're really good in containing the actual items. So you can kind of like lock them in like this and everything will be really safe inside of this i actually took this to the amazon in the rainforest and i actually they did quite a good job in the rainforest so i can vouch for these definitely um so yeah these are dry bags of course another thing of which is important um to have is actually walking boots so Walking boots are really useful as when you're out in the outdoors sometimes it can be muddy, it can be treacherous conditions, you never know what you're going to encounter. So it's kind of good to have appropriate shoes when you're out walking and they actually help as well when you're walking for long hours especially wearing like 
um, trainers or I've heard of someone even wearing sliders for instance on, on tricks and stuff like that it's like not really useful as your feet will be in pain and like these are re it's really important to wear like the right things when you're out in the outdoors also so yeah these are my walking boots as you can see quite muddy as well um, another thing I actually have inside of my bag is my jacket so so this jacket is really useful as it's windproof and it's waterproof and it's actually really useful for camping because it's lightweight and this is actually one of my newest purchases as well um, yeah this is my jacket and last but not least my actual bag itself so this is a 35 litre bag that's how much it can hold um, it's really this bag is really useful as well as as you can see the way that it can kind of click together and you can attach stuff to it um, also a really cool feature at the bottom there's a rain cover so the rain cover comes out and if it is raining you can actually put it on your bag and it kind of keeps your bag keeps your bag dry so probably not the best demonstration <laughs> but yeah so yeah and then just wear it on your back and your bag should be nice and dry it's also got some more pockets on the side as well as the top so it's quickly accessible and also clips that actually clip around your waist and around your chest so it's really comfortable when you're walking especially when it's heavy so yeah my bag so if you're just starting out on your camping journey or the outdoors please do let me know what you started off with please drop a comment down below and if you aren't just starting out but you have things already please do share with me some of the stuff that you started out with also if you would like to know where you can get some of these products you can check down in the description where you'll be able to find the products and the names of them i hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new or you've seen something interesting that might be helping you also on your journey on getting out into the outdoors thank you for watching and see you next time bye